right, a bit of a different start to a video this time around. I got a message from someone that is interested in selling their Citroen C5 1.6 liter petrol from 2000 and I think it was 11. Basically, it's a busted engine. It's not blown. Uh, I think it's the head has rusted or something like that. Basically, in short, it's a, it's an engine replacement. I'm gonna have a look at it. I've also arranged a sort of tow truck that can pick it up tonight. I'm not gonna go into it saying yes, but there's also very little I can I can test or check. Like if it looks good on the outside, inside, the electronics work, the gearbox uh, actually responds to selecting the gear, then it's pretty much done deal because it's not like I can really test drive it or, or test the engine for weird knocks or whatever, because it's gonna be an engine replacement. Anyways, I will uh, let you know how it goes. So now, driving back to the garage. So the good news is, I don't know if, if the footage showed it, but the car did drive by itself. It was a hassle to get it running. The emergency brake stuff was on. It spewed a whole lot of smoke when we did get the engine turning. So maybe it's a coolant leak kind of problem, but that does mean that my first step isn't gonna be finding an uh, engine replacement. It is gonna be figuring out what exactly is the issue with the engine. I don't know, I'm, I, I am not competent enough to comment on the maybes. Yeah, cool. Now back to the workshop. Hello, hello. It's a few days later. Today, we're gonna go check the Citroën. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably selling one of my daily drivers. So I actually need a, a car that drives. We're gonna see how, how well the Citroën works and also do diagnostics on it. God, it's hot. Yup, that will be the handbrake issues. Yup, that, that beeping is only extremely annoying. Definitely one of the reasons why I uh, am interested in this car is this. Hydropneumatic suspension, where basically the suspension is uh, on like oil shocks and it is so smooth. So the first scan has revealed that everything is wrong. There is lots and lots and lots of codes. Uh, we're gonna clear the DCs, obviously, and then we're gonna drive the car into the garage and do a quick little inspection and get out of the heat. All right, let's see how this how this plays out. Starts up real smooth. Any big smoke? Nope. Looks absolutely fine. Automatic door closing and everything. Um, Citroens and Peugeots get very, very whiny when they don't have electronic handbrakes and they go into full like limp mode and stuff. So it might be an easy fix. God, it's so hot in this car. See, everything's still beeping and is very upset about everything. And I still have a ton of error codes. Let's have a quick look. BSI, no ECU, power steering ECU. Oh my God. System blockage, electric motor cables are calipers, not factors, electric this is definitely shaping up to be one of uh, my kind of car projects. I think I'm gonna shut it off for now, get it on the lift, lift it up, see what's underneath. All right, time to do a little inspection then I guess. Start from the rear, ah, oh, hmm. let's start from the front. Rust a little bit, I think I'm here okay. Quite a lot of surface rust, as you can see. Nothing too bad. I don't have um. There's no. There's no dribbly bits. There, it's a little wet there, which I'm guessing is probably the hydropneumatic suspension. All right, let's see. Can we see in there? A little bit of what moisture on the engine there, I think, but nothing too crazy. The whatever place where you lift the car have been slightly bent. Surface rust, surface rust. I think that's a spider cocoon. The exhaust. Oh, we're missing one of the exhaust support, whatever, bushing holders, if you will. Otherwise, the exhaust looks okay. No holes in it. Surface rust on the, the stabilizer, right? Same for here, surface rust. The shocks are a bit 
leaky here, I think. This is this is oil seepage. Whereas this one is pretty okay. So yeah, this shark I think is leaking, yeah. By a not by a whole lot again. Yeah, it's just covered in a layer of oil and dirt. Is this a crowbar? Power bar. I don't know. So what am I testing? I am testing this bushing, this bushing. Uh oh look, see. See that? Oh, okay, still surface rust, so it's not leaking with the tanks. But yeah, this is the uh, hydraulic suspension for the rear. And that is quite okay as well. Again, surface rust, sure, because it's under the car. But there's no leaks here. Although this is, I guess, getting quite risky already here. All right, uh, where are we? Oh, yes, I was going to flex on thing to check the bushings as soon as I remember how to. Yeah, I think this is kind of cracked through. Yeah, no, 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 these bushings are done, I think. This bushing down here seems fine. It's just that the, it's leaking from inside the boot here. Boot here. Oh, golly. Gosh. I don't even know what else to check. I am kind of pretending to know what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's quite solid as well. The brakes, rusty. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking the camera. Very thin. Well, I guess the brakes could use a swap as well. I can't see the, uh, the pads. But if I'm going to do the brakes, I might as well do the pads. And then probably this. I don't see a point in doing any of the bushings for now. Okay, now, where the fuck is the handbrake in this car? Oh, uh, I don't know whether we can do much about just kind of surface rust or maybe like anti-corrosion paint helps. But honestly, not too fast, maybe a little worried. But I think something like this, if it is actually actively leaking, then that's probably worth sorting out because I think that is one of the biggest features of this car. And I am, I am pleasantly surprised that this is the only thing that is a problem. Surprisingly okay. Visually speaking from underneath, the electronics are still fucking haywire. The e-brake don't work properly. Oh, and then this is the, the electronic handbrake controller. I think this one's that. Okay, time to Google. Well, that's a new kind of problem. I guess this has got to do with the fact that we're on the... above the floor? Why? What? Well, okay, well, I can't do anything about that. I guess besides get some paper. Yep, still going. Still... <laughs> Still going. I don't think it's meant to work this way. I guess because I lifted the car, I the reservoir is overpressurized. This is what I wanted as a learning experience, right? Well, now I have it. Oil squirting? Hmm. You do, you do not get the results that you expected. If the car is going to be raised with the wheels hanging, it should, before being lifted, be raised to full heights on its suspension and then the reservoir cap loosened to allow air to get in and out. That would do it. Shit, I read the forum before. All right, time to clean up. Oh, I'd say the oil needs a change, yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely now, I don't know, a liter short of uh, hydraulic fluid. <sighs> There's so much work to do on it. But I don't think it needs an re engine replacement. If you can see, I have maxed out the suspension. It's almost like a crossover now or like an outback. I'm going to do some research and order some parts. And then I guess at some, some point in the next uh, few weeks, I will probably start trying to sort it out all fully in one go. Feels quite comfortable, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things that need uh, attention. I think the gearbox as well is a bit jumpy. Like, <clears throat> it doesn't know what it wants to do. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you guys are interested in the, uh, the Citroen C5 as well with the hydro pneumatic suspension. Bye.